Welcome, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at IBM Cloud. But not just IBM Cloud, we are going to understand how to use the AI or the machine learning components that IBM Cloud gives to us and makes available. So why should we use IBM Cloud? It is very powerful. It has features like IBM Watson. It has already some pre-built models in it. And I will, in this video, I will give you an overview of the different components and how to uh, utilize and how to access them uh, so that you have an idea on how to use, uh, how to use the tool, how to get started. And also if you would like to see more videos like this from me about IBM Watson. So I have used IBM Watson previously in the past for quite a few projects. So I have created here a new instance. You have to create a new instance on IBM Cloud. So when you go to cloudibm.com, you will have a chance to create a free account. Now, once you create this free account, you will access this free dashboard. Just to give you a quick tour of this dashboard because it can be a little bit confusing the first time that you see it so uh, just keep in mind that always in the right top right corner you have your account information and everything that is going to allow you to manage your billing your uh, usage uh, your account uh, uh, help information and documentation so here we will find our profile information our password and so on that we can that we can manage uh, the Documentation is very important, but we will see a better way of how to access the documentation. Now, on this side, this is where we have the different uh, components that IBM gives to us. So it doesn't give just machine learning, but it also gives a whole set of different features and functionalities that you have here on the side. It gives you the ability to create and spin up virtual machines. It gives you the ability to set up IoT environments, blockchain environments, and so on. And it also gives us the ability to set up Watson. Now, before setting up Watson, I wanted to uh, show you how you could access the different services. So whatever service that you would like to set up, you could search from this taskbar right here. So let's say, for example, we want to uh, uh, implement text-to-speech. And here it is, text to speech. So this is how this is a quick way of how we could find it. We could also um, so what I have uh, done just now, I have gone into the cal uh, catalog. So to filter the different results, we can use the catalog. So from the catalog or from the resource list as well. From the resource list, you will see all of your resources. Now let's go back. To the uh, to the catalog so let's search for something so let's uh, let's maybe look for um, let's look from it for it from here So we wanted to see the different features and capabilities that IBM has to offer regarding machine learning. So why use IBM instead of AWS, Google Cloud, or any other uh, machine learning platforms like Azure as well that offers different AI services? Uh, IBM has developed a lot of already pre-built capabilities. And now uh, I will have to look for these from the services. And when we go here in AI machine learning, now here, th these are already some pre-built capabilities that IBM gives to us that we can already start using with an already pre-configured API. And additionally, all of these are free for us to try and to use uh, to a relatively large extent as well. So just to give you an idea, for example, uh, we're, uh, I'll show you a couple of these. So natural language understanding, or uh, yeah, let's let's try natural language understanding. So how easy it is to set up now? I probably have created already one. No, I haven't. So this is how easy it, it is to set up. So we will just create create this one, and by creating it, we have access. Uh, before it was uh, it was giving us a list of the different 
availability so this is the plan that we have available so for free we have we can uh, analyze 10,000 characters or less and this is I believe it's a monthly it's a monthly subscription model so once we learn how to utilize our model we can then obviously pass on to the other tires or to the premium tires now uh, this is very important because uh, you want to learn how to utilize it you want to set it up you want to make sure that it works correctly with your use case before you uh, before you uh, pay any money for the uh, for the service that you want to use so we have already created this and i have shown you how easy it is now for example if if i were to go back to the uh, to my dashboard and if i go into the well i can see my services here so i have just set up a service and here it is we have set up this service in london and i have also this other services as well now uh, another thing that i want to show you what is cool about ibm watson and about how quickly it sets up this uh, machine pre-configured machine learning uh, components for you to use is that it also gives you an API and different connections for you to use and uh, and use with your uh, with your uh, with the API or with the skill that you have used so tone analyzer so this requires a connection so this is not the best example maybe if we if we check out what we have just created natural language understanding this is a little bit might be a little bit more straightforward to understand how we can use the API from this. So here we have the API key and here would have the uh, URL. Uh, uh, also what is uh, really nice here is that every single page here it has a getting started guide so that you can directly see how you can utilize uh, how you can utilize the natural language understanding API call that you've just set up now if we go back to the resource list and we go back to the catalog now i want to show you one more thing that is pretty important regarding the ai and machine learning in ibm watson so this is uh, so some of these are already pre-configured machine learning uh, models so for example knowledge studio language translator speech to text all of these are models that already have been pre-configured however there is also watson studio this is something different this is a tool that uh, you can use with your uh, with your team to work on machine learning projects and before we dive into it there is also watson assistant watson assistant is the ibm tool that allows you to create chatbots so if you wanted to create a smart chatbot it is a really intuitive and a really cool tool uh, that also integrates very well with other tools like for example watson discovery so you can set up watson discovery to search on um, web articles on thousands of web articles then you could connect your chatbot really easily to watson discovery get that information and uh, have a really smart assistant without having to code a lot of information for your chatbot so that is really cool if you guys want we can create a video series about how to create a smart assistant that connects to watson discovery could be very could be very interesting but anyways so this is watson assistant now watson studio what is watson studio let's check it out as i was telling you it is an environment that allows you to work together with your team now i have already i believe i have already set up a watson studio so i will access it from from my services and let's check out watson studio so again just as a reminder we are cruising through the ibm cloud platform with a focus on machine learning understanding the different uh, components of machine learning the different uh, things that they have available for us to get started pre-built models and also chatbots and right now we are looking at watson studio so just to recap here we have another window that has opened watson studio is an environment that allows you to collaborate with your team on machine learning projects now this is a new instance for me so i don't have any uh, any projects i believe that have been 
uh, that have been set up but I will show you guys how easy it is to start working on it and uh, the different components of it now it is also important to say that uh, there is a lot of development that IBM is putting into it and why do I say that is because the interface and the features are constantly being added every time I log in here uh, it slightly changes I can already tell you that uh, this interface has uh, changed over the past year completely IBM Watson almost uh, six seven months ago used to be a completely different looking uh, a completely different looking pain so uh, that's good that's a good sign that means that they are investing a lot and they are uh, trying to create it as user-friendly as possible now there is a tutorial that is popping up on the different uh, on the different activities that we can do but so let's let's walk through even though this tutorial is doing a pretty a pretty good job of explaining us what the different things are so i will just uh, follow along and uh, we'll see what i will just walk you through the different interface and we will just go into a, an overview of the different components so this is where your projects live what are your projects your projects is what you're working on with your team so for example you have you're building a model to analyze the uh, the prices of houses this would be a project you could have many different projects inside of watson studio so you could have uh, you could have one project that is dealing with the prices of houses another project that is dealing with um, uh, recognizing uh, recognizing bottles of water between bottles of coca-cola for example or a visual uh, a visual ocr process so that is your pro projects you also have you do also do training jobs so you train your models and this is where you will see your jobs that are being trained now this is the home page now there is also something that is pretty pretty cool and that is that uh, there is some pre-configured uh pre-configured projects already from which we can we from which we can start from so we can uh, create already a project and we can create it in different ways we can either start from scratch or we can set up a uh, we can set up a data flow so we can also connect our data flows but this is a lot of information now going into detail into this i think will require a separate video so if you guys want to see a video about IBM Watson in detail how we create project maybe how we create a, a visual recognition model or how we create a prediction model or how we use a data pipeline please leave me in the comments below and I will create a video that is around one of those topics thank you so much for watching I hope this was informative if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video thank you so much